Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Unbugs Project, and today we're gonna see a challenge about removing an element from a array list. So let's see here. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, so this is the challenge. We have um, an array list here, and then we add some elements, and then we remove one element. So we're gonna give you some time, and then I'm gonna ask you what's the answer. Okay, then are you ready to see the answer? Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. okay, let's see then. Yeah, congratulations, uh, Sebastian and Rinaldo. You got the answer oh. correct. Oh, great. Next time, yeah. I, will, I will wait for Sebastian first. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And he was almost explained <laughs> why, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you stopped me just, <laughs> just before. <that>. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so let's see why we have this answer. We have this output. So. When we try to remove here an element that is already being um, iterated, there is a concept called um, it's it's a fail fast. So the the method dot uh, the method next from the iterator class throws an exception throws uh, the concurrent modification exception in case that you are um, modificating the the list in in the middle of the iteration. So this this is just a um, fail fast concept to avoid really um, to avoid terrible bugs. Because what can't happen here is to have two different threads and then one thread remove the element and then the other goes there and gets the element uh, with an element that's removed and then can cause bugs that's really difficult to track. I can show you the, the next method here. So this is the method from uh, the iterator class. Can show you. Sorry, this is a uh, method from the array list class. But uh, yeah, but the list, the collection. Yeah, actually, it's from the iterable interface. And uh, yeah, when there are, so just going to show you here. So yeah, there is this method here that checks basically if the count of the array is the same. If it's not the same, it just throws the exception because it wants to fail fast. It wants to make sure that there won't have uh, any problems with that. So yeah, that's why. And let's see what is the, the possibilities that we can do here to avoid this exception. So one really simple option here would be to use the uh, copy on write array list. Because, yeah, with this class, it would synchronize the remove method. So there's there's not a problem because there wouldn't be a risk of two threads going to the same method and having the the array list with elements that are not uh, correct. So I'm gonna just show you here that it's gonna work. Then Dorival and Farhad, if we were using copy on write array list, it would be four. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. So I can even um show you here um how the remove method works for copy on write array list. So you can see here that we have a synchronized block, which makes this method thread safe. So Another thread here can't just go on into this method. So it's protected. So there's no way that 
we could have a crazy bug really difficult to detect. So yeah, one of the options is just to use the copy and write array list. And another option from Java 8 would be to use the remove if method. So we can just put it here and watch your array list. And then it would have the same result. So yeah, it's it's cleaner, it's just one line of code and it's it's better. Or you could use a, a bit more complex solution, but it would work as well. Yeah, so basically I am uh, creating a new array list here and then adding now elements and then clearing the array list we passed by reference and then adding all to this one. Um, I had to do that because it's not returning anything here. Instead, we are passing the object. Actually, we're not passing the object. We are passing the reference that points to the object. And yeah, for this case, we had to do that. Uh, so it, it became a bit complex, but anyway, it, it works. Um, the thing we have to focus here is the, the filter method that basically we are filtering every um, all the characters and we are removing searching. So basically we are saying here, get all characters that are not equals to Cersei. So if we execute it here, it's gonna be four as well. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, do you have any questions? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, with, okay. Would would that work if you uh, like there's on, on the list? Uh, so if if you if we iterate like on on the, the iterator itself, so getting the list iterator uh, of the list uh, object. And I think on the list iterator uh, interface, there's a remove method. Yes, it would work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't remember, but yeah, I think. We can just make a quick test here. Yeah. OK. Yeah. yeah, it would work fine. Yeah. We can use iterator like this, but uh, it's yeah. far easier yeah. if we use the remove if method. Yeah, the Java 8 method is the uh, <laughs> it's definitely the, <laughs> the most interesting one to, to solve that. Yeah. Exactly. OK, any other questions? No. OK. I'm good. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen here. OK, guys, so you learned on this challenge how to remove uh, elements from an array list and while you are iterating it. So this is very useful because we work with uh, lists all the time in day-to-day -day work. So um, you're gonna, it's going to help you a lot. So you saw the solution of using the copy on array list class, or you could use the remove if method. And you saw also the, the reason of it. It's because on the, on the method uh, that removes, I mean, when we use the for each iteration, it, it goes um, into uh, an, an actual iterator and as it's it's not synchronized, it will uh, throw the the exception. So this is a, a fail safe solution that uh, just to avoid really um, tricky bugs. And then yeah, you saw that on the copy and write array list, you can it's it's just synchronized so. There's no risk of other thread going to the same method and making and causing bugs. And OK, so if you liked the video, please give a like. And uh, if you want to, to see more challenges, um, you, you can uh, subscribe as well. And yeah, because uh, if, if you subscribe and if you like the video, it will help me out to create more content for you. and to uh, make you better on Java. So that's it, guys. See you the next time.